Hello friends and family, and welcome to the Sunday edition of Boring Meditation Stuff. Today I wanted to talk about um, this past week's uh, Pali class, um, Pali study group that I'm taking, um, that I'm involved in. Um, as a student of Pali, I, I find it um, interesting because I, I don't know any Indic language, Indic language is natively, so most of the words are new to me, um, but you always find these symmetries um, with other languages, with particularly those with Sanskrit roots. And um, there is a small passage at the end of this week's Pali reading, which is about um, the idea of sharing one's merits, which sounds a little goofy, um, but the idea is uh, one of metta bhavna. Um, metta is uh, you know, similar to the um, the Hindi word mitra so friendship um, a friend and so as a meditation practice goes <laughs> it's a bit strange right this idea of being a friend okay let me meditate to be a friend um, bhavana like bhav um, and This is actually the hardest meditation practice for me. Um, it's not taught completely until the end of a Vipassana course. It's easiest to kind of work with um, once you've been practicing Vipassana for you know, seven days or so. Um, because there is definitely, uh, there's a very real component to it. It is not just um, nice thoughts. But on the surface, uh, this idea of nice thoughts is often quite useful um, in the same way that gratitude journaling and um, these other activities which concentrate our energy on something that we know to be positive. Um, this idea of actively being a friend is inherently useful in that it gives us a moment to just try to focus on that. So if um, I take this time, five minutes a day, just to feel for other people, and maybe those other people are just people who are very close to me, maybe just my family, maybe just my family and friends, um, but to feel for them that, uh, that I hope that they are free of discomforts and free of suffering, um, that they are happy, these basic things, right? Um, that this isn't wasted time, uh, that this is a, a useful way to spend our time when we're considering the other people in our lives. And maybe people beyond that, people we haven't met, um, people the world over, other beings as well, <laughs> cats and dogs and birds and whoever else. Um, if at the end of your Anapana meditation practice, um, you want to engage in this, there are, so some of the instructions um, are longer than others. The Anapana meditation instructions, which are there on the Dhamma.org app, um, they are, uh, you know, a 15 minute introduction and a 10 minute instruction period with a guided meditation. Um, there are longer periods. So there is children's Anapana recording um, by SN Goenka. It may only be available on the website. I'm not sure. Um, and it comes in a few chunks. So the children are taught Anapana 
in a similar order. So an introduction and then 10 minutes meditation or 15 minutes meditation, I forget. And then another 15 minutes of meditation. And at the end, there is this small practice of metta bhavana. Um, and the children are taught like, just to relax and um, think about their mother and father and brother and sister, grandmother, grandfather, whoever uh, in their life they want to think about and to wish them well and to hope that they are happy. Um, and as a somewhat cynical person, this is a bit difficult for me, um, especially early on in my meditation practice. Um, it, it was very difficult for me to understand why you would bother doing this. Um, I understand a little better now. <laughs> um, but what's funny about Metta Bhavana is it is actually the most advanced of the three stages of Vipassana meditation. So the first being Anapana, the second being Vipassana, and then the third being Metta. So very little time is spent on Metta Bhavana in the Vipassana courses. Um, it is only taught on the 10th day, and um, you don't sit there doing Metta for an hour. You sit for Vipassana meditation for one hour. And then you sit for metta bhavana for five, ten minutes. Um, but it is a useful thing um, to practice if you want to try. And I know that some people get a lot more out of it than maybe I do. Um, so I think that it is probably worth mentioning. Um, that's it for Sunday. I hope everyone is taking good care of themselves, taking good care of everyone around them. I will talk to you tomorrow to kick off the week. Goodbye.